Hi, my name is Miles Gibson, IronSpeed MVP and Senior Consultant with Milestone Software. Today we're going to learn how to use page directives in IronSpeed Designer. So, what are page directives? Why do we want to use them and where do we use them? In this video I will show you two examples where and why it can be used. So what are page directives? Well, page directives are instructions for the .NET compiler to reference code libraries. So we insert them into our iron speed pages so the .NET compiler knows how to hook them up to the appropriate code libraries. We can use this with either Ajax or JavaScript code or pretty much any third-party control. Let's get started. In this example scenario, I want to be able to view more information about the product associated with this line item order detail record. I want this information to be available as a pop-up window so that I can still see other information on this screen. The easiest way to accomplish this is through the use of some JavaScript. This is where page directives come into play inside IronSpeed Designer. Although we can place our JavaScript anywhere inside the Design Layout Editor, it is better to place our JavaScript code inside the Page Directives area, so this routine will be available to the whole page. Also, this code will then be compiled into our IronSpeed ASPX page, and we never have to worry about losing this uh, piece of code again. So, to access the Page Directives area, we have to go first go back into Design Mode, uh, right-click on any cell on the page, and select Page Directives. In here, you can see I've already placed my JavaScript code. Uh, and this is where you will also put other third-party control directives and so on. But in this particular case, we've now uh, got our, our little piece of JavaScript here, uh, starting with the script tag, of course, uh, this, the JavaScript itself, as well as a closing tag. And that's it. Uh, that's all we need. Uh, I previously added a link button along with a little bit of supporting code to, to uh, link the, to the JavaScript together to the link button. And if we go back into our live preview mode, you'll see here's my link. And when I click on it, boom, up, up, there's my pop-up. Just the way I want it, more or less. So, uh, what have we accomplished? Well, we've actually created a link button with a pop-up window and the JavaScript for it is safely stored on the page, which is exactly what we want. In another example, I've copied the HTML markup from Visual Studio for an extra report's report viewer uh, control and menu. If again we select any cell and go right click page directives, you can see that I've added in the register assembly pointing towards the DevExpress extra reports, in this case, uh, version 11.1. Uh, and I've copied this from, uh, from my Visual Studio project. Uh, as I mentioned before, I copied the HTML markup, and so when I go into Live Preview, it actually produces this nice report. So, if we now go right-click Page Directives, and if we take this out, and run this again, you'll see right away as this compiles, that it gets an error because it now doesn't know how to reference this. So, putting it back in again, we find right away, just by copying and pasting this, that we'll be back in the game again right away. Let this do a quick compile. And there you go, our report's now back again. So this is now, again, con as I mentioned before, this is contained within uh, the page. Uh, so for DevExpress as an example, everywhere that you want to, every page that you want to use DevExpress, you will have to copy that page directive again for each page. Unfortunately, you, you can't put it uh, really anywhere else um, uh, and, and get the same proper effect, but that, that certainly works that way. And so in this video, we learned what page directives are for and why to use them. We use two, uh, two examples uh, using page directives with both De JavaScript and DevExpress. You are, of course, only limited by your imagination. For more information, please go to www.ironspeedmvp.com or contact us via sales at ironspeedmvp.com. Coming soon, Milestone Localizer, full localization for IronSpeed designer projects.